Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm a Youth and School Services Librarian from the Vernon Area Public Library and welcome to this month's Book Talks. I'm here to share a couple of our favorite titles for sixth and seventh graders. Titles like Isaiah Dunn is My Hero by Kelly J. Baptist. When Gary Dunn died, he left behind Isaiah, his mother and his younger sister, Charlie. They were all devastated by the loss, but mom is taking it the hardest. She's been withdrawn, silent, even absent, which means that Isaiah has had to step up and take on a lot more than what a middle schooler should be ready for. Things have gotten so rocky that they lost their apartment and are now living week to week in a smoky old hotel, but Isaiah does not want anyone to find out about this. So as you can tell, things are a little rough. Good thing he can count on Sneaky, his best friend who always has a scheme to make some extra cash and work his way around the rules. Plus, he's got his classmate Angel who has a few good ideas of her own. That is, when she decides to stop harassing Isaiah. And when things get really tough, Isaiah finds solace in his dad's old journals, filled with stories about a superhero who gets his powers by eating beans and rice. Isaiah wishes his dad's tales were real because, honestly, he could use some of those superpowers right about now. Yes, Isaiah Dunn is My Hero is a sad story, but it's also a heartwarming coming of age tale about a boy who proves that with courage and a couple of great sidekicks, you can take on even the toughest of odds. Adapted from a story that first appeared in Flying Lessons and Other Stories, this book is perfect for fans of The Parker Inheritance by Varian Johnson and The Seventh Most Important Thing by Shelley Purcell. Now we're gonna shift gears for our next book and talk about a title that's perfect for the upcoming spooky season. A life-size baby doll that stalks its prey. A flesh-hungry ogre who jingle jangles as he walks. A woman, her hair as black as a bruise, crying out for her missing children. And a haunted house just dying for a visitor. What do all of these things have in common? Their stories are best read in the dark. Now, if you're like me, when you were younger, you were simultaneously fascinated and terrified of Alvin Schwartz's scary stories to tell in the dark series. Stories like Harold, The Red Spot, or High Beans. Don't Turn Out the Lights is a collection of short horror stories where popular authors like R.L. Stein, Margaret Stoll, and Josh Mallerman come together to pay tribute to those chain-rattling tales. There are 35 new and spine-tingling gruesome stories for an older audience with illustrations by Iris Comfiet that will absolutely chill you to the bone. And if you would like a delightfully creepy treat, listen to the audiobook on Hoopla. So turn off your lamps, click on your flashlights, and prepare, if you dare, to be utterly spooked. So those are just a couple of our favorite books for sixth and seventh graders at Vernon Area. For more information about these books and how you can put them on hold with your Vernon Area Public Library card, you can contact us by phone, email, or even instant message. If your card is from another library, not to worry. You can contact them to see if these titles are available there too. You can find other great book recommendations for your grade and more using the links in the description down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the library.